Hi, Shinookums. It's Robin here with your daily spirit message reading for Sunday, October 27th, using the Witch's Tarot again. And the third question that we're going to look at in our week-long <coughs> Halloween, All Hallows' Eve celebration, um, who's dressing up this year? Let me know in the comments, please, because I love a good ha Halloween costume. They're so fun. Um, so the third question is, it says cast a spell and what do you want to manifest? So spell casting, you guys, it can get a bad rap in some communities, but spell casting is basically writing down what it is that you would like to manifest in your life and or speaking it out loud or doing like a little tiny ritual. You know, there's a couple while I'm shuffling that I can tell you about. Um, if you get a bay leaf and write the amount of money that you're manifesting onto it, I find that a felt pen works better because anyway, and then you put it in your wallet. Okay. Angel number one, one, one. Um, you can also like write the amount on a piece of paper, light a candle. A green one is good, you know, obviously because this is amazing green is the color of money most places write the amount of money on a piece of paper and then burn it okay so or you can just look up how to do a spell so it looks like with the three of pentacles it's like you're really and you can see this guy he's writing something down he's got a black cat there which i love because cats are they're mediums okay and they can contact spirit on your behalf. If you feel like, especially like you're not able to hear messages from spirit, the cat's always tuned in and they can be a direct line of communication for you. There's also potions here. So I think there's a lot of people out there that sell potions. I just want to like steer clear from that. Like people that are, they're selling spells and potions. Like this is stuff that you can do on your own. And it's like probably angel number 222 stuff that you already have in your house that you could use. Like it's as simple as like cinnamon in some cases. And I think one of the best spells that I've ever heard of is at the beginning of the month and you're blowing cinnamon into your house through the front door, right? Um, and there's a little, there, you could just look it up too. There's little like phrases that you can say as you're blowing the cinnamon or listen to music or whatever, whatever gets your juices flowing. So it is like you're trying to, with the three of pentacles manifest just, you know, your freedom, your financial freedom or getting away from a toxic partner or a toxic work environment. Okay. So casting a spell, it's the same as prayer, like whatever makes you comfortable. You don't have to like go out and get yourself a pointed hat and a broom. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, <laughs> and the key is to really put your emotion into it. Although while I was saying that, I heard the song, you can do it, put your back into it. <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> so the King of Cups, this is really like in control of the emotions and directing it where you want it to go, okay? So um, I feel like all of us are probably experiencing a lack of freedom in some part of their life. So you can definitely manifest that. And, and just with the Four of Swords, just like make it part of your routine, okay? If you're if you're not the type of person to pray, get in the habit of maybe speaking gratitude for the things that you have as well as the things that are manifesting in your life as we speak right now. Um, you could do a meditation. There's tons of meditations out there that you can just absolutely tune in. I listen to Steve Nobel every morning. He's got some great ones, but I also listen to, uh, he's got a, like a 15 minute manifestation video. So I listen to that while I'm getting ready. I have a whole playlist in the morning and this is all casting spells. Okay. This is all, um, angel number four, four, four speaking out into the universe what it is that you, you deserve. Okay. And we don't want to say want, okay. Because 
want is a state okay so we want to have things i have this already i have this in my experience thank you for providing this to me you know i'm so grateful so i mean and this is really your freedom is so important if like i just i cannot emphasize that enough okay um so and this would be a really, really good time to start your own business if that's what you were looking for. And I love that we pulled the Ten of Swords. Um, okay, super spooky card, which is why I wanted to use this deck in the first place. So this looks like kind of, you know, not the best card, but the Ten of Air, the Ten of Swords, is really a harbinger of good fortune, despite <laughs> the image. <laughs> And an end of a very, very difficult and stressful situation. And you can make this happen by believing in it and by reaffirming it and by casting your little spells, okay? So um, I think I could go on all day, but I'm not going to. So I'll let you guys go with lots of love and light. Take care. <laughs> Bye.